Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the shoes that I own. Um, this video I like literally have been avoiding to be honest because I had to bring all my shoes into this other room. Like you can already see some of my shoes in the mirror. I have so many, I have so many and I'm so excited to show all of them. But yeah, so we're going to start somewhere. Let me, hold on, let me like fix little things, hold on. Let's get started. First of all, before I like get started with shoes, I just want to say one, my hair is getting so long and I've been loving it. Um, two, I don't know, I've just been feeling really proud of myself. I just kind of like want to talk about that a little bit. Like I feel like I've grown a lot and I'm really proud of myself and I'm really hoping that it's time that, I don't know, my life is just getting better. I don't really know where I was going with that, but I'll probably do like a whole video about my self-improvement. But also let's not talk about my bangs right now because I really need to get my bangs done. But they're here still, I promise. I just didn't feel like putting them in a curler today or like doing anything to them. But anyways, let's talk about a couple of things. I'm going to roll my sleeves up just a little bit because we have got, oh my gosh, hiking shoes. So I've got these ones, which are Mercenants. I don't know what these are called, but I got them from Amazon. I'm pretty sure my mom got them for me. Those ones are nice, but these ones are my favorite ones though. Those are my Tevas. I love them. I wear them all the time. The, the one thing I really like about my Tevas and my hiking shoes in general is that I get to wear them. I keep them in this. I get to wear them in the water. So I like take them to the lake. I take them to Lava Hot Springs. I take them all the time. I wear them when I'm tubing. They're just awful. There are those ones. And then I want to like stay on the track of like maybe slip-ons, like easy ones. So, of course, I have my Birkenstocks. These things are my babies. I got, I begged for them for Christmas one year. I feel like trying on my friends. Because at first I was like, oh, I don't think I could ever wear like a Birkenstock. Like, that's not going to work for me. And then I was like, I really like these. Like, actually, I think I really need them. And then my dad got them for me for Christmas. And I'm so thankful for them because I wear them still all the time. Okay. And then we've got my crocs so the tea is though is i really need to clean some of my shoes and i know i didn't know i probably should have done that before i filmed this video but i don't really care my crocs i've got some fruit widgets i think that's what they're called i got one this is be kind but the rest of them are all fruits i got two strawberries pineapple and apple a peach and orange i lost one of them i can't remember which one it was though i don't even remember what kind of widget it was but i lost one of them at on the airplane on my way to Amsterdam because we got the Crocs specifically because we were going to go to Europe and we wanted something that was going to be easy to slip on and also Crocs were kind of all the rage in that moment you know what I mean also Crocs are making a comeback I think because I've been seeing a lot of them lately okay let's go to just like sneakers I guess so I've got two pairs of Air Forces and you're gonna be like, Tylee, why do you have two pairs of Air Forces? Let me explain. These ones are my Air Forces. These are the ones that my that my dad got. My dad got me, my mom, and my think my sister all Air Forces. And I'm so thankful for it. But I've worn these to the death. Like if you look in the back, oh oh my goodness, there's like holes. Like you can I'm I literally shredded these apart. Because I wore them all the time. My mom brought hers to Europe. I brought mine to Europe, but she my mom brought hers to Europe and then ended up wearing her crocs the whole time. Because she just wasn't really a fan of the way they fit her feet. So anyways, she gave me hers. And hers are look a lot nicer. There's like no shredding in the back. So I wear hers a lot now. Because I just feel like Air Forces have always just been such a nice staple. Because they're so easy. I do want to try to rotate through all my shoes a lot more though. Just because I can see how quickly like shoes can get freaking ripped up to shreds. I literally had a pair of black and white Adidas for like ever and they got like this too and I still was having such a hard time throwing them out. These ones however, the only reason I'm not throwing them out by the way is because I wear them to work and I work at a restaurant and you just never know what's gonna get on your shoes like chocolate, well I work at a crepe restaurant so it's like chocolate or sauces and whatever so I usually, the seas tend to be my work shoes like I think there's like ice cream on them I don't know, I literally just work, I work in these whenever I work at a restaurant, so they're really helpful for that. And then I wear my Crocs or my Birkenstocks every time I go to work at a dance studio, so they work out. And then I wear these often as well. Okay, back on to more sneakers. I have two pairs of Converse as well. I have a white pair that I got from 
Nordstrom's rack, I'm pretty sure I found them. And then I got a red pair. I don't remember where I got the red pair from. But I love the red pair. However, I they're so hard to find outfits that fit the red. But I do love the red. I would literally like a brown as well. A brown would be really nice to have. Sorry, I got my nose. A brown would be a really nice one to have, I feel like. But I do like the red. I do want to start wearing them more. I wore these ones the other day too. I want to try to clean them somehow. I'm going to work on that. If you have tips to like on how to clean them, that would be awesome. Um, let's see. I think I've got one more pair of actual sneakers. Okay, so then these, I've got these Reeboks. These ones, oh, oh my goodness. Let me tell you backstory. My cousin Carly had these. And I want to sit back down. Sorry. Um, my cousin Carly had these for a long time. And she wore them to Love Hot Springs. And, like, I always really idolized my older cousins a lot. Until I became, like, of age. They like, wore, like, Carly and, like, half my cousins. Carly, the, the, the shoe inspiration. Um, like, she had kids. And all my cousins, like, half my cousins have kids. And, like, even then, like, I'm still, I'm still idolizing them for sure. But... I feel like when I was younger, I was always like, oh my god, like, that's so cute of you to get those. Anyway, they're cream Reeboks with the green. Like, these are, like, on... The, ugh, I love these ones. I literally, they were, like, my dream shoe for so long, and I finally was able to get a pair my first year of college. And I'm so glad I was able to get a pair, because every time I went to look before that, they were sold out. And then I got a pair, and I'm so happy about it. And my friend actually ended up buying a pair, too, because I was like, well, I think I'm going to order these Reeboks. Should I do it? And then he was like, I'm going to get some. And I was like, okay sure so now we have matching shoes which kind of makes me angry but whatever because i'm not friends with him anymore that's the awkward part about it okay now i've got a couple more shoes for you okay let's see these are some of my nicer my nicer shoes so i've got these red cole Haan shoes waterproof cole Haan. i have no idea sorry they're red they kind of look like a like a Doc Martin kind of situation, but I found them, I thrifted them, and they fit me exactly. Again, the red is kind of hard to pair things with, but I love them, and I can't wait to, like, find outfits that work with them. Like, that's something I really want to work on, because they're so cute. I just love them. I don't know where to put these. Okay. And then another thrifted shoe. These ones I don't ever wear. I've never worn them. I've never worn the red ones either, but, like, these ones I'm, like, so scared to wear. Like, these are more of, like, a... A photo shoe or like if I get famous enough and I get invited to like an event these would be the shoes I'd wear there are no boundaries is the brand and I got them I thrifted them for like 20 bucks this thrift store was in my college town um, and that thrift store is like kind of hard because either you find something that they price low or you find something that's like really expensive so it's like kind of a hit or miss like I've gotten a skirt from there that was like five bucks and I'm like this skirt's so cute like why why was it not priced higher but I know, these ones were really cute and they were only 20 bucks. But anyway, they're like these little like fake denim um, with like the safety pins in them, no boundary. They're like, it's like fake wood kind of situation. I don't know. I think they're so cute and I feel like they look like they're more expensive than they probably were to begin with. I've never looked up what their worth is, but I just think they're so cute and aesthetic and one of my favorite pairs of shoes that I own. Okay. And then I've got these ones, which I would never get rid of, to be honest, but they are pretty old. I, they are Delia's Dolls Kill. And I know that we don't support Dolls Kill anymore. Okay, I haven't bought from there in a very long time. But these are super old. Like, to the point where, like, this tip right here is, like, rubbing off. I want to figure out a way to, like, fix that. Maybe just sharpie it or something. But anyway, they're Delia's, and they're, like, big and chunky. I was very much in that, like, big, chunky, like, boot. Like, I don't know. I was just, like, it was, like, one of the eras, I don't know, of, like, the internet. That was, like, kind of a thing for a while. Like, Dolls Kill was, like, such a big thing. So I bought these. I don't really know. I still very much like them, though, for the right outfit. But I spent so much money on them, and they're, like, one of the ones that I feel like I could actually make happen. So, yeah. And then I've got a couple that I keep in boxes. So let me show you these boxes really quick. Look at this. Um... You want to see okay so i keep a couple of these in boxes i'll show you why and i'll tell you why these are absolutely amazing um they're ugg slippers i don't wear them that often ever because they're white and i'm so scared they're, they're always going to get ruined 
I really want to work on keeping my house like super clean because if I can keep my house super clean then I would totally wear these around the house but they're just super nice and I got them for Christmas from my uncle Nate um we were in Costa Rica and he got me and my sister these ones my sister has hers in black so she wears hers a lot more often than I wear mine just because I'm so scared of them getting ruined and then my dad got a pair of Ugg slippers too definitely one of my favorite things and I'm like surprised I got the box back here to be honest like that's pretty crazy of me love those and then these ones I have been I literally were looking at for so long and I bought them finally for my high school graduation I wore them for also my college graduation the you can tell like a little bit when I'm looking at it that like the Steve Madden logo is like getting a little bit like colored I guess like probably from sweat but I've only I only really wear them when I have an event so I think I wore them to my friend's wedding which might I add she was not my friend at the time I had never really met her in real life but she did invite me to the wedding as my boyfriend's plus one but my boyfriend was in the wedding party anyway I love her now she's one of my besties I think I wore them there and then I wore them both my graduations I don't think I really wore them anywhere else but they are definitely one of my top favorite shoe and I like to keep them in the box just because I want to keep them really nice um, it's kind of feel about it, but the box is breaking. These ones I also have never worn, and you're literally gonna get so mad at me for it. But they're from Urban Outfitters. I don't remember in what circumstance I bought these, but they're like still in the package. Like you can see this. I don't know why I bought these. I literally don't, but I need a way to wear them. They're gorgeous. They're blue, the baby blue. You can't tell in the light as much. We go like this maybe if i turn it off for a second anyway they're baby blue i love them so much i just haven't gotten a chance to wear them and like one thing i want to work on is wearing going out more like for one like i'm so busy with work and stuff that sometimes i just don't have enough time to like go out and put it on a cute outfit and like do that kind of situation but i do want to work on wearing all of my shoes that i don't wear intermission because i forgot three pairs of shoes so real quick we've got snow boots they're pink pink snow boots they're from sorel waterproof they're cute i like them these i bought from shein probably because they're horrible um i'm gonna get rid of them i've decided right now i'm gonna get rid of them they don't really do a lot for me to be honest so i'm gonna take a picture of those and then we've got this giant Delia's box. Um, I keep them in the box because they're so nice. They're literally one of the nicest things I own. Oh my god. A skirt. Because I was going to do a costume. Anyway, I'm not going to take the stuff out, but this is just one boot. I'm just going to show you one boot. These boots are some of the sexiest things I own. Um, I love them. They've got the little like Delia's zipper. That's kind of all I have to say about my boots. Um, back to your regular scheduled programming. Now I've got one more little thing for you guys. But these last couple pairs of shoes I have, I own currently, and I but I have had for a while. But I'm trying to sell them. So if you're interested in them, I will um, put the price on the screen. And if you're interested, just DM me on Instagram or, um, I, yeah, I would say DM me on Instagram if you're interested in any pairs of these shoes that I'm about to show you. So, these are, honestly, I'm probably from Shein, so, like, I'm selling them for super cheap. But they're, like, these strappy, big sandals. Like, I feel like if they never get sold, I'll probably find a way to wear them. But I just feel like they're one of the ones where I'm just, like, not really too worried about it. Especially since I've been really trying to invest in like nicer quality things. I just feel like these ones I'm not really too worried about. Also, they kind of fit a little big on my feet because I think my sister bought them originally. Um, so I don't know, there's those ones. And then I've got another pair of heels, which also I will be cleaning these before I ever actually sell them because they're kind of dusty because I've just been setting them on the shoe rack in the hallway. But these ones are um, public Public Desire, I got them from Dolls Kill. They've got this little, like, strap. 
I don't remember what I bought these for. Again, these are ones where I'm like, if I keep them, I'm sure I could find an occasion to wear them. Oh my gosh. I'm sure I could find an occasion to wear them, but if somebody was interested in buying them for the right price, I would be very much interested in selling them. Um, just because I bought them for quite a lot and I only think wore them once. So, there's those. Um, I have these Reeboks. They're just, only reason I don't like them is because they're a little too chunky for me. Um, I was looking, this is the tea, on these ones. I was looking for these ones and I just said I wanted Reeboks, like the like I wanted a Reebok. And the guy or lady or whoever it was sold me on these. And I bought them and I wore them a little bit. I wore them quite a bit when I bought them because I bought them for a school year in high school. Um, but now I just don't, I don't really wear them as much anymore. They just don't really fit my vibe. Not really sure. I'm not really part fan of the shape. These are also ones where I'm like, most of these I honestly probably could find a way to wear. I just don't wear them as much. These ones, I honestly, if anybody wants them, they can just have them, but they're kind of, I might trash them. Because there's just like a big hole in the back and it's like the plastic is like poking out. So they're really not the best. But I did like these for a long time. They were my mom's, they're Fila's. They were my mom's like Fila's and then I just took them. And then I've got a pink pair of Fila's, which I got off of... And then I've got a pink pair of Fila's, which I got off of Depop. Um, I don't know. I really like these, but again, colored shoes are so hard to, like, find outfits for. Like, the pink, I just... I don't think I have enough pink in this wardrobe. You know what I mean? So, like, again, if I could find a way to make this happen, like, I would. Because they're cute. I like them. But... Ugh. Anyways, I'm a size 6, by the way, so if you're a size 6, like, and want to buy any of these, let me know. Um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I've got so many fun videos coming out. Like, I literally filmed a different video today. I'm filming all these other things. I've got so many things. I've got so much to edit. I'm so excited about it. Um, follow my Instagram. DM me if you're interested. Uh, follow my Instagram. Follow my TikTok. I'm going to be so active lately. I'm, I really want to be more active on um, that kind of platform. And yeah, that's all. Bye guys.